it's time for your contribution. And you're going to wonder what that is. <laughs> but first of all, welcome to this channel. And please subscribe if you if it's your first time and share this with others. And because this message is going to really change your life. And if you can stay for more than two minutes, you will get all of it because I'm going to give it to you today. And first of all, it's Friday the 13th which means it's my lucky day because that's always been my lucky day and 13 has always been my lucky number. I always like to take things that we have thought to be superstitions that were holding us back because of fear and change them because when we embrace it, then we can change it. And you might be feeling a little fearful right now because you've been moved to a new place in your life that you haven't understood yet, or you're looking at the world and not understanding what it's doing either until you're being a little afraid. And what you will discover is that that fear is going to be so helpful for you because, see, fear does a couple of things. It'll either stop us from doing what we came to do or actualizing who we are, or it will propel us forward because it's so uncomfortable we don't like it. And that's what I'm doing today because, see, fear has held me back my entire life. And I know that that is the only difficulty that you have had as well because you came into the world to do something amazing. And so if you decide to do that, what happens is you put an entirely new energy into yourself and also into the world. And guess what happens? Things change and the world will change because you're that important. That's why you were born. You wouldn't be alive unless you possessed something that was worth value and had something you were meant to bring to the world. You may not have discovered that yet because in your evolutionary journey, maybe it wasn't time, but I know that it is now because it is for all of us. That's why we're on the earth at this time. And But it might look a little confusing, but that's what I'm going to give you today. So I'm going to read you the, I'm going to read you several messages and you won't be able to see them really well. It doesn't matter. Just listen to them because I'm not going to do a presentation here. I'm not going to do um, a, a PowerPoint presentation. I'm just going to read them to you. So you will have them. And they'll be on the video so you can listen to them because they're important. And um, I did something else and I can do all of this now because many of you know, I went to Gaia in, uh, several months ago and I filmed an episode of Beyond Belief with George Nuri. And I'm grateful that many of you have seen that and have made some comments and that's wonderful. It took me a long time to get that story out, but it was important. And it was funny because being on Be Beyond Belief was probably the best place that I could have gone because the only problem that we have is belief and not getting over and not understanding that we can accept something that we hadn't known before and believe something new, which is what we're meant to do. But let's do the first message because I want you to have this one. And then I'll tell you the story because you are on the earth now to do something really amazing. And as soon as you figure that out, it will be a really great thing that happens. Okay, so this is the message that I was guided to put up several days ago for today. It is time for your contribution. It will be what you came to the physical plane to develop or move beyond, for both are acts of expansion. But doing so today will aid your planetary ascension. The following message will aid you. September 13th, 2011, you came to make a contribution. When you decided to have a physical life experience, it was with the expressed intention of making a contribution, not only to your expansion, but to all that is. Many of the difficulties you encounter along your path, then, are due to choices that you make that do not serve that purpose or could even be considered detours you have taken. When you take time to seek to know what your individual and unique contribution is, then your choices and decisions along the way become clear. Each and every soul has the same goal. And each contribution is unique and valuable, especially yours. Now, that message that came through in 2011, I didn't accept that. You haven't accepted what was within you either. But first of all, let's understand something. Everything is consciousness. Everything on our planet, first of all, is energy. Uh, that's all we have. We, we've discovered that through all the sciences. Everything is energy. But what happens is we direct that energy with our thoughts, with our thoughts are electromagnetic. Magnetic. So whatever we're doing, we're creating something always. But then it takes a while for us to understand that. It takes a while for us as humans to understand even what we were doing 
with our minds and how we could create things and how we could manifest things. It just, we've just learned it over time. And so now I can tell you that <laughs> at 73 years old, yeah, all these things work. But this is the life that I had to live to bring this um, information in. But I was afraid. And so what I did was I wrote a book. And this is why I wrote the book. It, it was released in 2019. It's called Overcoming Fear, A Guide to Freedom. You probably might have seen that on the um, show on Beyond Belief because it was shown there. But and the first thing I said in that is that it was really hard for me to write that book because, see, I was afraid and I had to get over my fear before I could even write the book. But I had help from other people, as I spoke about also, because we always need help because seeing ourselves is challenging. That's for any human. That's what we move through. Um, so but anyway, as I as I looked at that, thought about that, I thought fear. Overcoming it. But see, the reason I couldn't talk about it because I received information in a different way and I had to expose myself. And that is the only difficulty you have is exposing yourself, is becoming vulnerable, is owning and accepting every aspect of who you are and how you came into the world to be because it's something different. You're not supposed to be like everyone else. You're supposed to develop something new, but also that can be a challenge because it'll come about sometimes in a surprising way as it did for me. And as I've taught, spoken of often, um, in 1989 was the first Wilhelm message I received. And it has been a synchronicity of events that has moved on that has given me a complete philosophy for our world. It can transform anyone's life. And then if more people did it, it would transform the world. Because see, what happens is you start to understand your importance. And, and if everyone and, and what you came to do, you know your life purpose, you know why you're here on the earth, and you recognize that you only live for a certain amount of time, so why not do it? But it's the fear that will hold you back. And I know because I lived it. So that's what I was meant to bring to the world. But I started talking about 2012. And I'm going to show you something because I didn't know what I had done. I'm saying this because you don't know either. None of us know what we can create or manifest or what our potential is because it's always in front of us. And we have to become willing to take the step and discover it, which is self-discovery, and then it can surprise you at times what you find. And that's what happened for me. And it's also what held me back a little bit because it was so surprising. And that's what I want everyone to have, to surprise yourself so much that you're just knocked out of your socks, so to speak, of what you can do. Because every human is born to develop something new and bring it into the world. There's no other point for your life. Now, you may have judged it in different ways, but that's only because you didn't understand what you were doing. And I was given all the information to tell you how you were doing it. And that's what I'm going to show you today. And this is why it will change your life, because you'll start to understand how valuable you are, even by just listening to this today. But also what I did is I put up several messages in the last several weeks to explain so much more, because consciousness evolves in, within you and also within our world over time. We don't just jump to something. We have to use our human brains and bodies to create something, to do something a little bit different. So in 2012 is when we thought the world was going to end. Many people might might remember that because the Mayan calendar had ended and there was nothing left. And people were started getting rid of things because we're not going to be here. What's the point? And I thought, that's interesting. Because, see, in, two, in, in 2021, I was told I was given everything in 2012. Why didn't the world end? And then I, and someone reminded me of that idea, that belief that the world was going to end. So I went back to look and see what message did I receive on December 21st of 2012. And so I'm going to explain that one to you, because if you understand this one, it will really help you start to use your energy in a different way. Everything is energy that you use in your life and what we use to create our world. No different. And so this is the message that came through on that day. December 21st, 2012, wait is an action word that when you use it will instill the ideal of patience into your physical life experience. When you find patience, you begin to manifest very different results in your life. When you operate with impatience, you are actually working against yourself, so to speak, for you are affirming that something you desire is not here, has not been made manifest, and more importantly, that you do not have it. 
Those thoughts will create that reality in your personal experience. You will know when you are using the energy of the word weight, for you will also experience greater peace. Now, again, I had no idea what I was receiving, but I do understand it now because we are we are manifesting things with our thoughts. So if we're going to be afraid and, and anxious and about what's going to happen, then we're going to attract the ex exact opposite results of what we want. But we don't always do that. I know that message now, but I haven't done that in my life. I'm saying this because we must understand that we have to take the steps, which are typically daily, to start to change something in terms of our beliefs. So that was the first thing that came up. But what happened today was um, after you know I put that other message up, but then I was told, no, now find the one from 2012, because that was the thing that was most pivotal when all the information came through and the things that I could not believe. Could that have happened? And when you start understanding science, there is a connection in the universe, an energetic alignment, let's say, that is always here. We figure it out as humans, and we figure out our place in that at certain times, but that place is your authentic self. That's why you were born at this specific time that you were born, and why you have the genetic code you have, and why you were placed in the place that you, all of that is true. And so when you start um, walking down that path, you start to discover your value and your worth and why you're here meaning on the earth. Again, we're not here forever, so you're going to decide, am I going to start to love myself? Because see, that's the most important thing that you could do, especially in the world now, as we're moving through this transition, and I'll explain that as well. However, the message that came through on um, my lucky number 13, but on 2012, was called, was titled, Manifesting Fears. And I go, why do I want that? Why would I manifest fear? Why would I want to do that? Well, because sometimes we don't move until we manifest the fear, until we feel the fear, and then we start to do something. And I always, I'm always reminded of this one um, story. This I love seeing this. This woman, this you know, sh sh sm small woman, um, her son was going under a car. It was the car was falling on her, and she ran over be for the fear, and she had this superwoman strength and lift up the car. Off the kit. How did that happen? In that moment, she didn't have any limitations. She knew that she the fear moved her to go and do that, and then she was able to accomplish that. That's what happens. But the message that came through on, on this date, you will understand, because I didn't. Again, I'm saying this because you have to understand we're always working with our consciousness to understand something individually and collectively. That's what goes on in our lives and in the world. And so this message you'll love a lot, and I'm going to explain a little bit of it. September 13th, 2012. Your fears can be helpful. That statement may sound contradictory to you at first. However, upon closer examination, its logic will come to you. When you harbor particular fears, you are also placing focused attention on those fears. Because your focused attention is creative energy, you will then manifest them in your physical life and spirits in some form. Once you have manifested them, you are then face a, to forced to face them in reality, so to speak. And in each and every case, you come to understand how unfounded they were to begin with. The entire process is expansion. And that's why I was so upset with my mother, because... Um, and I put that in the book because she would always say to me, um, she would use that acronym, uh, acronym um, false evidence appearing real. She would always say that. And I said, that doesn't make sense. That's not false evidence. I'm looking at the evidence and I'm afraid. Why are you saying that to me? But then you start to understand that she was correct. And it was the same thing with Franklin Roosevelt when, we, when he said, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. And that is absolutely true. Because when you step through it, Oh, now you're having a different experience of who you are. And I can say this because that's been the life that I have lived and why I um, can talk in the way that I do, because I know that these things have been proven. Sometimes they 
seem theoretical, but when you live them, it becomes a very different experience. And when you see other people live them as well, then you get reinforced. I'm saying this because when I first put out, I, I never want people to, to judge yourself for what you haven't done or didn't believe. It's a process. Um, but when I first discovered that I had this program in 2021, I didn't trust it completely. And I put all these folks through it and they're like changing and being brilliant now. And I'm going, how did that happen? And then you understand that's how evolution happens. You do something, you give it back to others, they get through it faster. That's what we're supposed to do in our lives, but we're also meant to do that in our world as well. And so there are several things that I had received on this date because of the synchronicity of that. And I'm going to show you another one, um, but I'm going to go back first because I want you to understand that you've been running from yourself. We all do. It's not a bad thing. Don't judge yourself. It's a time where you just decide, I'm going to now start to believe in who I am. But I'm going to read you the message I received so long ago. This came through last night in the in the group. In our, um, we were having a group call last night, members in my uh, program, which who I love. We we're having a great time. And so I wanted to show them, no, I've known this for a while, but I was running from myself. We all do. Because again, we have to step into that unknown of who we are. And we form this fear of the unknown probably since birth. You know, when you came out of the womb and you started screaming because you didn't know where you were going. And we carry that throughout our lives. But then if we keep manifesting that, we start creating a lot of chaos in our lives and also in the world. But let me show you this one. So hopefully this will be one of those things that you'll hear today and you're going to stop running from yourself because we all do it. You will love this one. December 17th, 2017. Stop running from yourself. Please tell your story with detail as it will help so many. You uncovered a transcript of a dream you had 12 years ago. The number of years is essential. In the dream, you witnessed a group of men you deemed to be leaders in some way, and there was a call made for a volunteer, and you stepped up. Immediately as you did so, you questioned your actions or why you would do such a thing, and even asked at the end, why me? Now, in your current time, after discovering the transcript, you attempted to pretend you didn't see it. For now, it could no longer be ignored. You now recognize the conflict. To stop running means to let go of the resistance you had, had in becoming your true self. Everyone does this to a certain degree, and now you get to decide if you will stop running. And again, that is true for all of us because whenever we're living, there's more that we could do. There's more potential that is within each person and it's part of your personal, your individual soul path or mission or what you came to the world to do. But sometimes we can't accept that because it's unique and different and that's why we would run from it. So it's never about judging ourselves for doing that. It's just when, when do we stop doing it? And that's what will come up. Now, the other thing that happened, I'm going to talk about this because certain things we can't believe. When I first received this information, because that was the dream that was referred to there, I had that in 2005, you see, because I said, wait a minute, do I have all of this? I couldn't believe that. And then I did everything to, to prevent myself from seeing it. And that's when you self-sabotage when you don't take the next step in embodying who what you're seeing, because it can be scary, I get that. But when you understand that you can do it, it becomes quite different. But that's what I did, because I had this dream when I was given all this information I could give to people and it would make a huge difference. That felt too big. I can't do that. That couldn't possibly be me. But now I'm seeing it happen. And I want others to see that happen because everyone has the same ability when you stop running and start doing the thing because it's individual for you. Just do what you came to the world to do. That's the energetic contribution. I put out something a few weeks ago, a little, I've done several presentations where I wanted to talk about energy because that's how we heal and create everything. Our bodies, our minds, our, and our physical world, it's all the same thing. And you are contributing. And so when you can understand the magnificent contribution you can make simply by becoming yourself and deciding you're going to love yourself and work through all your generational trauma, because that's what we do. That's exactly what we do every single time. 
However, so when I went to a guy and I did um, Beyond Belief, I didn't think about this because I was told that if I met someone and I had a message, I was given a message on their birthday in 2012, that seemed not to make any sense. But if you've watched the episode, you will see that at the end, I started channeling to George because I had seen, I didn't see it until the night before the taping, but I went back and found his birthday and found the message. And I go, oh, wow, this is exactly him. This is exactly what he's done. And he's a great example for everyone else. So now I want you to see that message as well. So you'll love this one. And now understand that all the message, we have a universal consciousness. So this will apply to absolutely everyone. But what I was told that we have individual uh, DNAs, or, you know, genetic codes. And so that person, it would be really more specific to him. And it was. This is George's birthday. And if you've watched the show Beyond Belief, you might understand. Or if you watch it, listen to his radio show, Coast to Coast. You know, he's been for years. What he's been doing is bringing to the world things that we don't understand <laughs> that we may not want to look at. And this was on his birthday. Flexibility is admirable and also indicates your willingness to trust the integrity of your physical life experience. Inflexibility, on the other hand, is a sign that you believe you already know it all and are unwilling to expand or accept new information and wisdom. Your goal is always to gain new experiences for they bring you more awareness. You are always making choices as to whether or not it is more important for you to be right in your own thinking or more important to continually evolve. Conflicts with others are born in inflexibility, while cooperation brings a momentum of forward progression, meaning expansion. And that is what we're each meant to be doing now. And But the problem is we are not flexible because we are afraid we got to go into that unknown of us and also into the world, except not understanding that when we can open ourselves to new ways of things being done, then we have a greater experience of our life and we also create a much better world. It was challenging to tell people that I had gone through my entire life, done all these other things, but then started receiving this information and it turned into a philosophy that healed my life and anyone could do the same thing. That's why I had to move beyond my disbelief, which everyone has to do because there are no limits. And when I put, to, I'm going to put all of this together in a more of a documentary kind of, kind of form because I want everybody to have the um, mind-body connection stuff. All of this is going into my work, by the way. Um, but you to understand what you can accomplish and how you can start um, becoming younger as well. That's the thing that is really, because you start losing all of the your judgments and your hatred and your stress and all of that. Everyone can do it. So that's what came up. But I wanted to show you something else because there are, there's one message that I want you to remember. And this is what all of my work is about and what this entire philosophy came to bring to the world. Because see, we're moving through a time of great change. I published an article about the societal changes that are happening. And you, I'll put a link to that in this video as well. But it's about what happens and what comes up. We will have um, the things that come up first are all our, our judgments, ethnicities and, and racial judgments and, and misogyny and, eth and gender things, all of those things. It's happened throughout history. And we are living through that period now. But then you start to understand, wait a minute, the way we change it is that energetically. And so how can we do that for more people? Well, if more people understand how important they are and can accept their life and their experience and why they're in the world, things change. And that's what I was given. But this message you would love and um, you will love. And I want you to understand if when you come to this understanding, because it took me a long time, I'm still just doing it. We're always doing it still, as long as we're alive. But when you can accept this and understand your life becomes so much more valuable and you will know that you are leaving a valuable legacy too. Because we have to think about that at some point. We're not, we don't live forever. How do we want people to think about us? And this is where we are now. See, this work, I was meant to bring in um, science, spirituality, and human potential. And spirituality is what we needed because it seems like many people kind of forgotten that at this point. And we have forgotten it within ourselves, which is why I put out the message the other day talking about one voice. We've all heard that, the still small voice. That's when we can listen to this 
element that's within all souls, all people that says, oh, this is the right thing to do. This is what is 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 great that would be happening. But we don't always do that. And then throughout civilization and times that exist in the world, we might forget that. And we are moving through a period where that has happened a bit. But it's also the best time then to use our fear of ourselves and start to create something different. And that will happen when you can accept this message and i'm going to give that to you but also i'm doing a channeling session on tuesday because we have a full moon and it's going to be a powerful one and so much is going to come through that you will love it and you will understand so much more and i invite you to attend but also check out the program and all my work because next week um it's going to change a bit because all the all, everything's going in there it only says 31 lessons that's not it there's so much more that's going in and then after that and I've talked about this, that's when the, the rate will go up, but it's always available. You can just do it whenever um, you choose, but I wanted to create something that anyone can afford, and that's where it is, and that's what you can do. There are no limits to what you can achieve in your life. That's what you must understand and come to accept and become willing to discover that. But this message, if you remember it and start to live it, it'll take a while. <laughs> you will have the best, most brilliant life ever. Thank you for being here. Several years ago, I put out a post where I said, I can't see anything wrong with you, because that was the awareness that came to me with all of this work. And as you accept this message, you will understand what I mean. July 11th, 2012. Your story is unique and valuable. It is unique because no other soul shares precisely your story. It holds the utmost value for you. Your story is comprised of everything your past holds, including all that has occurred for you, happened to you, everything you have done, every person you have met, and every word you have spoken. All of it has been and always will be perfect. Your only job, then, is to seek to know the perfection of your story. Any aspect of your particular story that you attempt to ignore, dismiss, or judge will cause you to experience some difficulty because you are refusing to receive the information and wisdom that your story holds. Wilhelm. 